the phosphorus cycle. Phosphorus cycle doesn't have as much as some of the other cycles to know. So let's start first with how does it first get into nature? It gets into nature through the weathering of rock. So phosphorus is in our rocks. And so the weathering of rock So rain, freezing and unfreezing of rocks, um, earthquakes, um, lichen or mosses growing on it and, and crumbling the rocks. So this is all part of weathering. And so phosphorus is released into nature initially through the weathering of rock. And it is the largest reservoir of sedimentary rock. And so plants get the phosphorus into just from absorbing it in the ground. So there's phosphorus in the ground. Some other ways that plants get their phosphorus, because plants need nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium as their three major nutrients. Another way that uh, plants get their phosphorus is through animal waste or animal poop. Human poop especially is very high in phosphorus, but animal poop has it as well. So we have our poop here. So this is waste, has our phosphorus, because we eat the phosphorus from plants. So we're eating the plants and we're getting our phosphorus from plants, which is used in many parts of our bodies. And so the um, the waste has phosphorus, which then can go back into the plants. They can absorb it directly. It's not like the nitrogen cycle where it has to be transformed. Phosphorus can be used directly. And then here are dead things. So dead plants, dead animals. They also have phosphorus. So decomposition releases the phosphorus and nitrogen and carbon and all kinds of things back into the, um, the ecosystem. So we have all our phosphorus here. And so the plants eat that phosphorus, or not eat it, they absorb that phosphorus for root growth, for stem growth. Some other sources of phosphorus is bat guano. So bat poop is very high in phosphorus. So a lot of fertilizer companies will get um, their phosphorus from guano. So bat caves, yes, that is legit and for real. And our plants use this phosphorus and then we get the phosphorus from eating plants. So those are the basic parts of the phosphorus cycle. Here's your definitions, not that much you have to know. So pause the video and write them down. You need to know the largest reservoir sedimentary rock and then some other information about phosphorus that you have to know.